next guest is a, a very good friend of mine that I've known for a long time. He's been in the rap game for over 20 years. He's from Central Islip, New York. Uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the very talented and awesome Chaotic Link CL. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. You? Doing great, man. Um, it's just so cool to uh, be back in touch with you. you. Used to be on on the uh, Double D show, my old radio show from back in the day. You were on there uh, a yeah. lot. We used to play all your tunes, man. And uh, here we are, dude. Uh, Twenty years later, can you believe it? We haven't changed a bit. No, not at all. I think uh, we're both looking better. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> yes, indeed. And and you, man, you you were like doing your thing. Uh, awesome music. You you were. Uh, kicking it out and now like it, within the 20 years they, it, hip-hop's really evolved a lot and changed a lot H how have you been kind of holding up with uh, the trends and styles of hip-hop have you been going with the flow or are you you sticking to what you used to do oh man i, I keep it old school man i mean <laughs> that, that 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 classic era you know you know 80 something to like 95 that's the vibe you know you yeah know? man I, I, I'm not doing anything over trap beats, let's just say. Right? It's not my thing. <laughs> I was just in Atlanta for like uh, four years and mm -hmm. got to know a lot of those rappers out there. But, yeah, it's all about the trap beats, especially out of Atlanta, man. Yeah, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I got to stay, stay with the roots, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I, I respect the, the new stuff coming up. Not that I listen to a lot of it, but some of it. But, uh, you know, I got to be me. So. Yeah, and I'm old school too, man. Like, especially coming from Long Island, dude. We were grew up around some of the best rappers ever: EPMD, Craig Mack, Keith Murray. Um, yeah. You know, they all came out of Brentwood, CI, Wine Dance, Amityville, all from around the way, bro. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, for sure. A lot of pedigree. Yeah, and your boy R.A. the Rugged Man. Still doing it. Still doing it. Still killing it. <laughs> yeah, dropped his new album. I'm thrilled for him. A rugged man. This year has been insane. Um, from the COVID yeah. to, uh, you know, murder hornets to aliens <laughs> to, <laughs> to now, um, you know, Antifa, uh, violence. Um, you know, w w how are you holding up in this day and age? Let me just get this light here. And how are you holding up, man, with all this craziness? Uh -huh. So, somebody posted a great meme the other day. It said, uh, Dear 2020, wrong hole. Do you think it's going to, like, the Antifas of the world are just going to let us enjoy our 4th of July, or do you, do you think they, they're up to something? No, nah, I, I think, you know, like anything else, the pendulum swings, right? Um, that, that's one thing is you realize you get older, a couple more grays, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, pe people are going to have their day, and, and, and that's all good stuff. But uh, I, I think the 4th would be all right. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's usually a time where, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's where we are, it's where we live, and it's a good time to celebrate, maybe get together with immediate family if you can without trying to expose people to unnecessary madness. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, you never know. You know? I'm, I'm no right. politician, but uh, me and you live in the world. I see what I see. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't foresee anything bad happening, but I wouldn't be surprised if I turn on the news and, she hit the fan. You know what I mean? Yeah, there, 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 nothing would surprise me. I'm, I'm hoping that we just have a nice, normal Fourth of July. Bag up, bag up, bag up, tear. Put it reverse, tear. Put it reverse. Oh Lord, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, oh Jesus. What the what, what you doing, tear? We're, we're all you know, quarantined you know, just getting yeah. through it. But, but then also when you see that you have to protect yourselves, like, did you see the images of that, um, those two people protecting their house yeah. earlier today? Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. it's, it's funny on the surface. Like when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell is this? But then you start to think deeper and, uh, you know, 
is this our future for all of us? Is this where it's coming down to? Are we going to have to sit on our porches with an AK-47 <laughs> to make sure that nobody comes and takes our stuff? It's like the purge. You see now. It, it coming from where we come from, you know, yeah. Brentwood, you know, Brentwood and CI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we both grew up like. To, to me, I, I'm happy growing up the way we did. It was, it was very mixed, uh, yeah. racially mixed and, and diverse. Yeah. And nobody ever, it was never an issue, at least for, in our generation grew up coming up. Independent. Depending if your school lost the football game to like Half Hollows Hills or something, <laughs> you don't want to walk home that day from that football game. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> the brothers are like, where are you going? <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> you from here? Yeah, man. You think I'd be walking here if I wasn't? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But also being down, like, you know, you know, um, like I said, we, you grew up, you were a hip hop yeah. star, you know, you, you were, uh, played warp tours, you've played big stages. Um, yep. I, I grew up a rapper. Uh, I was in a rap group. Also, I think everybody in our generation, our neighborhoods were. So, I mean, we, we kind of came up that way. And um, so when, when the world going through something like this, it's, it's, uh, it's painful in a lot, you know, obviously, man, you know, ah, what, what, yeah. okay. what's your take on it, bro? Like, I when you see all this shit going on in the streets, man, what, what do you, what's going through your mind? Well, you know, I got a lot of family and friends. Some people, a lot of people still live in New York, right? Um, Long Island, people in New York City, cops, you know, friends, family, things like that. And, uh, you know, I, I see it as, as craziness. I mean, um, um, it seems like a lot of people just lost their mind to get down, get down to the basics, man. We're only human beings. There's lack of communication, you know, all sides feel they're right. Don't want to communicate. And that's just not the way it works. Um, you know, I, I don't have no answers by any means, but, um, you know, I, I, I do, I do like this. I remember there was a saying, I forgot which president's wife said this. So don't worry about so much what's going on in the white house. Worry about what's going on in your house. Right. So this is what I do. I can only control what I control, and that's how I influence the people in my household and my children. So I try to teach them the right way, right? And say, hey, you need to have this type of respect when you're dealing with whatever. Don't put yourself in predicaments, then you won't get in trouble. It starts there, right? Uh, that, that's a lot of my take, but um, you yeah, know, it's, uh, there, there, there's, there's, there's bad in the world, no matter what race, creed, profession, whatever it is, there's good and bad. You know, yep. and hopefully the bad's the exception. Exactly, dude. Well said, <laughs> well put. And, and I agree. Um, you know, we do have to worry about our own households, how we raise our own children, uh, who and, and kind of see who, how what's influencing them. Because we all know that in this day and age, social media and, and all this stuff, there, there's a lot of information um, kind of pouring into their brains. And it's kind of like... Like me and you, man, we're, we're old dogs now, bro. We're, we're kind of yeah. set, we're set in our ways. Yeah. Oh yeah, these kids, man, they're still they're still sponges. They're still figuring it all out. So it's it's uh it's it's crazy, man. And now, you know, with the world the way it is, man, it's just nuts. But uh, but I still think that on this day, on our Fourth of July, our nation's birthday, that there yeah. is hope. That there is hope, and and that hope. Is in hot dog eating contests. <laughs> it starts there. It, it starts <laughs> there. <laughs> it starts there because if you look at the hot dog eating contests, right? They're, they're, it's all all the races are together. You got Asians and white people and, and uh, African American people all eating hot dogs. What, the, what's it, more American? What's more American than hamburgers and hot dogs? There you go. So, <laughs> so I think that the recovery begins <laughs> with the hot dogs. With the hot dogs. Right. So, uh, I'm voting for you. 
That's where it starts. That's where. Yeah, you no, know, I, 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 I'm hopeful too, man. You know, I've, I've done some travel in my day. Um, I've been many countries around the world, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're able to be the way we are because of all the sacrifices that came before us in this place. And, right on, and, man. And, and that's it. <laughs> Come on. Where your people at? Where my people at? Feeling all right. When I when I first saw you, I don't recognize you that because you, you're you're not rocking your your trademark hat, man. Do you have? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. So since since I moved since I'm out in I moved out of the New York area, a little mount more out in the country now. You know. Now, oh, now there you go. Camo. There you go, man. <laughs> rocking the John Deere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chaotic Lake, man. There he is. <laughs> Uh, dude, you're awesome, man. I I, um, I want everybody to check you out at, at, on YouTube. It's a Chaotic Link, right? They can find you on YouTube. Where else can they find your stuff? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, fortunate enough, I, I've been fortunate enough to have fans uh, definitely out there in Asia, and they've uploaded songs off the albums that you could just go on to YouTube and put in CL, a.k.a. Chaotic Link, and a bunch of things will pop up, all different uh, tracks that I've done over the years. Uh, but you can also find me on, uh, I'm still reselling some of my stuff on uh, on uh, Bandcamp. Uh, okay, you can find cool. me on there also. Uh, you can find two full lengths and some of the more recent stuff that I've done that I haven't put out officially uh, out in Asia is up there. Uh, featured with some of the artists that I've worked with uh, on that label throughout the years. And um, <clears throat> that, and there's, uh, of course, my Facebook page. Uh, you can hit that up. There's video footage of me you know, from the past, back when me and you were still kicking it. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> uh, and then even more recent stuff, me me performing with the band out this way. So, you know, it's good stuff. Awesome, yeah. man. Well, dude, this was like old times, man. This is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm sure. Glad, yeah, glad we reconnected, brother. And I definitely would love you to have you back on and, and uh, just shoot the shit some more. Oh, man, anytime, Don. It's, it's a pleasure seeing you, man. And by the way, man, you aging beautifully. So <laughs> Right back at you, dude. I know, I got a little... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. I know, Dang, man. My, my chest getting white too. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's you're the happen. man. It's gonna happen. Uh, well, thanks again, brother. Chaotic link, everybody. Check him out. Right, Don. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Governor's Comedy Club Radio would like to thank all of you for choosing Gov's Radio to watch during the quarantine. And now is a great time to show your favorite show some love, and also enter to win a free pass to the world famous Governor's Comedy Club when it reopens. And yes, go to teespring.com. You scroll down the search bar, type in Gov's Radio, and this will bring you to our store where you can purchase t-shirts, mugs, and so much more uh, for every single show on the station, including put up, shut up, and stand up. You can get your t-shirt or mug uh, from there anytime you want. So to enter, for a free pass, all you need to do is take a picture of yourself with your mug and your t-shirt or towel or whatever and send it to us. We will post it to our page. And the sixth picture received, the sixth one, will get a free pass to the world famous Governor's Comedy Club when we reopen. Teespring.com, everybody. <laughs>